to keep you updated. Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Wednesday, August 10th of 2022. The first new days were heartbreaking. Reveals a Colombian men are rescued yesterday after being trapped underground for 10 days along with the Dominican Gregory Mendez. With a month occupying the direction of the Francisco Moscoso Puello Hospital, the orthopedist Rafael Camilo Garcia assures that his decision to regulate, control unnecessary expenses, and organize services have generated discontent from small internal groups that are creating a kind of boycott or blockade to the good development of the center. About 7,068 patients received follow-up in the 10 prioritized health centers of the hospital program for the timely detection of breast, cervical, and prostate cancer maintained by the National Health Service, many of whom were recruited during preventive sessions. About 122 patients remained hospitalized yesterday for COVID-19 in different centers in the country, both in regular beds and in intensive care, 11 more than those reported the previous day when 111 admissions had been reported. Robberies have become one of the main problems that residents and visitors of Los Kilometros on the Sanchez Avenue face every day, according to Listín Diario reporters. The precarious conditions of the access roads to the Duquesa landfill in North Santo Domingo are causing long waits for compactor trucks to unload solid waste, which in turn generates garbage accumulation in Gran Santo Domingo. Cubans are the immigrants to the country that have sworn the most by the Dominican flag from 2021 to date, heading the list of 437 foreigners who obtained Dominican nationality. The Dominican Association of Exporters said yesterday that because land transportation presents challenges due to the criminal gangs that plagued Haiti territory, they have opted for exports to Haiti by sea that flow smoothly. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.